sum and difference formulas for tangent are the tangent of alpha plus or minus beta is equal to the tangent of alpha plus or minus the tangent of beta over 1 minus or plus tangent of alpha times tangent of beta. So if we do a sum for tangent, we have a plus here, we want to make sure that there's a plus in the numerator and a minus in the denominator. If you do a difference for tangent, then you want to make sure there's a minus in the numerator and a plus in the denominator. And remember that tangent, some of those are square roots. So if we get square roots, we're not going to leave, or radicals, we're not going to leave radicals over radicals um, in, you know, in fraction form. We're not going to leave fractions over fractions. So we need to do whatever it takes to write the uh, exact answer in the simplest form. So for example, let's say that I wanted to find the tangent of 7 pi over 12. Now, you can change that over to degrees if you want to, if that helps you. But you may also want to try to experiment and see if you can figure out the angle measures and radians that would give you 7 pi over 12. Um, one way to get 7 pi over 12, it would be to say the tangent of 3 pi over 12 plus 4 pi over 12. And so the reason I, I break it up like this is so you can see 3 pi plus 4 pi, pi is 7 pi. So what are those angle measures, you may be wondering. That's pi over 4, so that's the tangent of pi over 4 plus pi over 3, which are common angle measures. So um, you know, if you just know that 1 fourth plus 1 third is equal to 7 twelfths, that'll help you. If not, and if you're not uh, that comfortable with using radians, then just change that over to degrees first and go from there. All right, but I'm going to continue to work this problem out. I have a plus here, so this is a sum for tangent, so I need to make sure that I put a plus in the numerator and a minus in the denominator. So this is going to be the tangent of pi over 4 plus the tangent of pi over 3 over 1 minus the tangent of pi over 4 times the tangent of pi over 3. So now, let's start working this out. The tangent of pi over 4. If you have trouble recalling what these are equal to, using a unit circle is your best bet. So, But the tangent of pi over 4 is 1. The tangent of pi over 3 is what? square root of 3. That's over 1 minus the tangent of pi over 4 is 1 times the tangent of pi over 3. That's the square root of 3. Alright, so you really don't have to write the 1 down in front. Um, I have 1 minus or 1 plus the square root of 3 over 1 minus the square root of 3. I don't want to leave my answer like that because we don't like leaving radicals in denominators. So you need to rationalize by multiplying by the conjugate. The conjugate of the denominator is 1 plus the square root of 3. So let's multiply out everything. In the numerator, you're going to get 1. So you get 1, and then you're going to get 1, one square root of 3, and you're going to get another 1 square root of 3. That's plus 2 square root of 3. And then when you say square root of 3 times square root of 3, you're going to get plus 3. That's over. When you multiply conjugates out, all you have to do is multiply the first terms and the last terms because the inner terms and outer terms will cancel out. So 1 times 1 is 1. Negative square root of 3 times a positive square root of 3 is going to be a negative 3. All right, so the numerator becomes 4 plus 2 squared is so 3 over the denominator becomes negative 2. So what you want to do here is use piecewise division, break this fraction up into its two pieces. You want to say 4 divided by negative 2 and then you want to say 2 squared is so 3 divided by negative 2. Alright, so 4 divided by negative 2 
2 squared is a 3 divided by negative 2. And simplify those, so you get negative 2 minus 1 squared of 3. That's your final answer on that one.